Hello guys, I'm back for number two layout share. Um, the third layout I did was called, the challenge was called Cut It Out. I think that's what it was called. It's where you had to use your, um, let me cover this up. It's not important, but it has my mom's name on it. I don't want, want to share that information. Um, it has, um, anyways, we had to use die cuts from, like, your silhouette die cuts from cutout, from paper cutouts, whatever die cuts you had laying on his dash. So I used most of my die cuts. Um, these pictures are of my mother throughout the year. This is when she was a little girl. This is her, I think, second grade. First grade or second grade picture. She's about seven years old in this picture. This is her senior picture, and this is her um, school picture, her work picture, because she's a teacher's, teacher's assistant at, for the ISD, for the School to Help Mentory Challenge. She was for mentally special ed, not mentally, but kids with special needs, I guess you can say. Um, this is her, it was taken in 2007. So I was going to cover up her pictures, but I thought, because, you know, but I thought, you know what, as long as I try to cover up her name right here, it'd be no big deal. Um, so the background paper I chose was from a color box, it's pa 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 pastel, it's a lavender color. <clears throat> I was going to use blue, but I thought I'd use this just to use it up because I had it in my stash. Um, because I haven't used a lavender, purple, or light purple background paper in a while, so I used that up. This paper is from Die Cuts with a View Heirloom Stack. And this paper right here is from Glitz, from Glitz, um, Afternoon Muse 8 by 8 paper pack. I trimmed it down to fit it better. Um, this little banner here, this little banner here, banner this banner and this little banner I used. This is from, I guess from online, it's from Pinterest. I found like, um, a, a, you can use, you can print these out for free and you can use them as a cutout piece. So I cut them out. I had them in my stash for quite a long time and I didn't know what to, I don't, I just cut them out for the heck of it. And I didn't know what I wanted to use them for. So I thought I used them for this. So I put them on top. All four on top as you can see. Um, the die cuts I use. This, I'll put it down so you can see better. Um, this butterfly here, this butterfly here. These two butterflies are um, I'm trying to cover up that this journaling spot. This butterfly here, this butterfly here. This is from... Um, I died cut from the silhouette cameo. I had like a die an image of a butterfly and what I did was I embossed it with um my clear embossed. What I did was I I think I stamped I embossed it and then I no, I think I embossed it clear and then what I did was I don't know how I did it, but then what I did was I used my colored ink from my mental ink, and then what I did was embossed it with clear embossing white powder. I don't know, I did the same thing with this one, but I'm not sure. This one I popped up with my um, Paper Studio Pop Dots. This little polka dot embellishment is from the um, American Craft, I think, Studio Calico Snippet 6x6 six six paper pad. They had a cutout. I use that. This embellishment right here. This embellishment. The bow embellishment. Is from the Athema. Maggie Holmes Athema pack. And then this little embellishment. That I'm trying to cover up my mother's name. But this embellishment here with the journaling on it. That I was from Maggie Holmes Athema pack. Um, trying to figure out which one I didn't use. Oh, this little look like buttons with needles and thread. I put that there because my mom is she likes 
she's a solo. She likes to show in it and crochet. And I did that. I it's from the white color box color stock. And I had this is a punch EK chain punch I think it's called. And I had this in my stash. I tried to cut it. I cut it in half because I had a twelve by twelve strip of this. Cut it in half and put it up here. Um, the bow is all these little embellishment things I represent on my mom. Like when she was a little girl, I guess like she would dream because it has like a cloud. An old Polaroid with a cloud in it. Like maybe she was dreaming of something in her past and she she never really cared for butterflies as a little girl, but when she got older she kind of enjoyed them. So I put butterflies here to represent that. And the clock is to represent like from going to school and from work. The little, I, I did this because I had like um some printouts of like, like a little like a lot of notebook and she used to do a lot of um note taking to her aunt to her friend. She had like a journaling she did a lot of journaling as a girl, so that's why I put that little piece of paper. This I just picked because of the little banners up here you can't really see it but you see the little banners like right there. I did that I did that because my favorite color is blue. So that's why I did it. And what I did was all three of these are the original photos so I I put black photo corners on it, give it a like, enhanced look and the old vintage feel. I put white corners, you can't see it here, but put photo corners on it. So that is my mother's nail. I'll give you a close up view of everything. So there you go with layout number three. And that was the cut out, cut it out challenge, I think it's called. This layout, I'm not going to cover up the name because none of these people are living. Well, I might cover up. I might cover up the name because it has my last name on it. But anyway, this last layout I did was called Sketch It Challenge. And you had to use, on my sketch that the person who was given a challenge, you had to use that sketch and interpret it and interpret it to your liking and I did and some people liked it some people comment on they like how I did it with the colors and everything um these two pictures are copies of my paternal grandfather's family the bottom picture is a copy of my grandfather you can't always really see it but my grandfather is right here that is my grandfather as a young man and these this is his sister and all the rest of them are his brothers and it's the six of them he had ten brothers the other little brother wasn't around much. His younger brother wasn't because he was his, his dad's kid from a second marriage. So he was raised by his his stepmother. So he didn't really get his little brother wasn't around that much as a little kid. But as he got older, he was involved with the brothers and sisters. Except his mother didn't really care for my dad and his other sibling because these six kids were my dad's. Well, not my dad. Why am I talking about my dad? I mean, my grandfather's. These six kids and my grandfather were from their dad's um, first wife. So she didn't really care for them that much because they were first wife kids. So that was the issue with the little butter not being in the picture. Um, these are my grandparents right here. You can't really see it. But these two are my grandparents. This is my grandfather's older brother. My grandmother's sister. These two were also married. My grandmother and her sister married the two Thomas boys, which was my great uncle and my grandfather. So this is the sister and brother to my grandparents. This is my grandfather's brother-in-law and his sister, his sister's husband, so that's them. This is right there in the field. I have the original photo, but I printed out a copy. I decided to use the copy. And then I decided to put black photo corners on and give a little hand on these pictures. And <clears throat> I decided to go with the Ventures theme because I wanted to use these two pictures anyways. Um, the background paper I used was from the We Are Members Keepers and to Treat Caution at 12 by 12 
I had in my little package of it. This paper up here is from the same collection. It's from the Antique Street collection. I just cut it out, kind of cut it a little bit. Um, this little strip here, that is from an extra scrap of paper I had from the die cut with a view heirloom stack. I think this is also from the heirloom stack, and I also fussy cut it a little bit. I even fussy cut this to kind of put the strip behind the behind the feather. I fussy cut the feather right here and the wing. I fussy cut that. So this little embellishment here can fit on here. This I cut out with my silk cameo. I had this laying around for every day so I had to use it. The paper is um an earth tone kind of tannish paper. Cut that paper from a from Walmart it's the Walmart brand. The stamp I stamped a camera is is from the Maggie Holmes stamp collection. Um, what else do I say? Oh. The stickers right here, this sticker I spelled out together. This is from the um, I think White Navy American Craft Studio Calico stickers. And these little brown stickers are from the Jelly Bean Soup sticker, sticker pack. It is the Fridge Brown, I think it's called. This um, heart and this white heart. This is from a pack of die cuts I got from a scrapbooking friend on scrapbook.com. It's from that same scrapbooking friend I got the envelope die cut from. She die cuts and she threw a little bit of she put embellish. What she did was she um went and she you can see a little um bump raising it. She embossed this and put like. Um, little, put, I think the pearl drops on the white pearl drops. She embossed this and then she took, she went with her cutter bug and, and cut out, die cut out a heart. And this little journaling tape that I'm trying to cover up with the, with the last name. This is from the Maggie Holmes A Thumb Up Pack. What I did was I outlined this with white gel pen to give it a little depth. I did it with this little white heart too. And I think that's about. Oh, no, that's not it. I got more to show you. Down here, the time to remember and the smile. These are little cutout embellishments from the Brenda Walsh um, specialty paper pack from K and Company. And this paper here, and this paper here that I cut out looks like a little banner. These two papers are from the Bow Bunny E.T. Clutter Collection Pack. And this little embellishment here is from, looks like a little round tag. This little embellishment here, that is from the die cut with a view heirloom stash. They have an embellishment cut out, and I had it in my stash, so I used that. And I also traced the little banner with gentle black ink. Pen to get a little depth like I did up here. I traced up here and here. I did the same thing with the banner. So, give you a closer view. So, that is my little sketch challenge I did. It's called Sketch It Challenge. And this is how I did it. So, what I'll do is I'll put a, a still pictures at the end of this so you can see a better view of it with a view of this. So, I will catch you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this second part of my layouts, layout share. And I will see you guys when I see you. And I might come back with some more layout shares and possibly some vlogs. I might do a little bit of vlogging just to talk with you guys to tell you what I'm up to and everything. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.